Well, in southern Malawi, it's no longer first come, first served at area hospitals. Three years ago, health workers began using a system designed to care for sick children based on the three colors of a traffic light. And the results seem to have been dramatic. Lamek Masina reports from Blantea. Patricia Hamza brings her daughter in with a headache and vomiting. She fears it is malaria. But as usual, the pediatric waiting room at Indira and Health Centre is already full. Hamza is worried that her daughter doesn't have time to wait. But minutes later, a medical worker arrives and assesses the child's condition, gives her a yellow ruler, and they jump the queue straight into doctor's room. This is a Jibadala robot program. Specially trained health workers sort children on arrival using the colors of traffic robots. Green can wait, yellow is priority, red is most agent. A lot of children are being saved through this system because they are, uh, they are recognized early at the health facility and even the refill that they are sending, they are sending in the stabilized uh, condition rather than before whereby they could just send the children without stabilizing. This is one of eight health centers using the system. Children are no longer dying in line while waiting for treatment. I won't say it has been reduced because that would mean it is still happening. It has stopped completely. Researchers in Malawi are now studying the success of the project and officials are looking at expanding it to more hospitals. For Hamza, it turns out her daughter has pneumonia. We used to come queue as early as 5 o'clock in the morning and not return home until around 2 in the afternoon. But this system is very efficient. She's already filling her daughter's prescription and getting ready to head home. Lamek Masina for VOA News, Blanta, Malawi. Well, thanks a lot, Lamek. Now we want to know what you think about Africa 54 and the stories we cover. Join the conversation on Facebook. The address is Africa 54. And check out our headlines 24-7 on voaafrica.com. Coming up, an exercise program for survivors of sexual violence is helping women overcome trauma in Somalia. That story after the break. Well, the past year has seen the World Food Programme make drastic cuts to food rations for people in need across Africa as crises arise around the globe. In the Central African Republic, half of the population is in need of food aid, but the WFP says it is able to assist less than a third of them. Zach Badoff reports from Bambari. The World Food Programme distributes monthly rations to hundreds of thousands of displaced families in the Central African Republic. In Bambari alone, the WFP feeds more than 100,000 people. Mayor Matthew Bataban says most are seeking safety from fighting between armed groups. These people left their villages, they abandoned everything. They abandoned their manioc fields. They abandoned the maize fields that allowed them to survive. Because they are far from their fields, they have no revenue. This creates a real problem for food. Virginie Kada brought her eight children here last April after her husband was killed. The children eat from the gardens, but once that's finished, it will be difficult to get food, and I'm worried my kids will become malnourished. Due to funding shortfalls, the WFP has been forced to cut rations here by 75%. Nothing to eat. Here, when they come to distribute, it's terribly insufficient. It is terribly insufficient. I have five children and five orphans and my mother. I suffer a lot. 24-year-old Rumiard Mbiambanga goes into the bush to collect wood to sell in the market. He uses the money to supplement their rations, but it's dangerous work. Armed groups still roam the area. Because of the security problems, where can we search for work? It's not safe, so we can't walk. We can't go find work anywhere. 
we are always here. And it's a vicious cycle that the CAR has been trapped in for years. Camp leaders worry that lack of food and jobs may only push more men to join armed groups as a way to survive. The CAR government is appealing to large donors, including the United States and the European Union, to step in with funding so food rations can be increased. Zach Badworth for VOA News, Bambari, in the Central African Republic.